Hello and what is up? Today I'm going to show you guys how to use RAM to save to back up and restore save files from your Pokemon XY, Omega Ruby, and Alpha Sapphire. The reason for backing up and restoring your save files is mainly so you can open in PK Hex and then you'll be able to copy Pokemon, edit Pokemon, add items, Pokedex, and anything to your heart's content. Uh, the sad thing about this method is it only works with old 2DS and 3DS firmware and it doesn't work on new 3DS so if you have an old copy or you want to pick up a unlock 2DS from pokeedit.com that will work with all the QR code methods and this method that I'm going to explain here. Let's get started on how to run that once you have a 2DS or 3DS with firmware from this to this on the screen. Okay, first thing you need to do is go to pokeedit.com slash ram to save. And then once you have that page loaded, download this pack here and it's gonna have a couple files in it. Now take your SD card out of your 2DS or 3DS and put that into your computer. Okay. And this is the file I just downloaded which is called RAM Tools. And I unzipped it, which you'll have to do. And inside there's three folders. Readme, R save in, R save out. Okay. And I've already plugged in my SD card uh, from my 3DS. So what you need to do is take these two files here, R save in and R save out, and drag them directly into the root of your SD card. It's the top part. Don't put it in Nintendo 3DS. Just drag them in right here. Once you have those in, now you're ready. Now RAM to save can run from your SD card. Okay, so that part's finished. That's the setup. Complete. So now you can eject your SD card and place it back into your 3DS. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how to back up your file off your game onto your SD card. So, load your game, and with RAM to save, it's always best to be in a Pokemon Center. So, if you're not saved in a Pokemon Center, go ahead and do that. Just go to a Pokemon Center, make sure you're saved inside there, and um, okay. And then when you're ready to back up the file, Make sure you can see your trainer and you're standing in a Pokemon Center and then press the home button on your 2DS or 3DS and then from there press the L and the R buttons simultaneously to open up your camera app and then press the QR code scanner button and now I'm going to scan this on my uh, iPhone but you can scan the QR code on your computer or any device that you have it open on and just make sure you have backup selected on PokeEdit RAM to save web page and then you're gonna scan that QR code okay then press OK and then OK to load the internet browser alright and that's going to show downloading to SD card it's gonna green screen for a second and then BAM it's gonna say an error has occurred and then press OK now from here hold your power button and turn your console off. Alright, now take the SD card back out of your 3DS and put it back into your computer. Alright, and if you did it correctly, uh, your SD card should now have a file inside of here called RAM Save which is different than the other two. R save in, R save out, and this new one, which is RAM save. That's the file directly from your game. Now, you can open this up in PK Hex. So if you need a download link for PK Hex, there's one in the description. And for PK Hex, just open it and take the RAM save file. This is your file, and you can just drag it in here to PK Hex and now you can see um, all of the Pokemon in your PC you can edit the items you can go in here and mess with your trainer info um, you can max out your Pokedex um, this particular file has all the Pokemon uh, a legal version of every possible one that it's possible to get uh, you can get the base files 
um, or base PKM packs from our website. I'll post some URLs in the description. Let's say I make an edit. Let's say I change, um, let's say I delete this Bulbasaur and I clone a Kakuna there and I want to change my trainer name to Cake. Okay, so those are the edits that I made. Next thing, and this is crucial, when you want to save, go to the Save tab and then click the Export Save button. You need to go navigate to your SD card and then you should save directly over RAM save. Yes, replace it. Okay, so we've made our changes and now we're ready to load the file back onto our game and see if those edits took place. Now eject your SD card from your computer and put it back into your 3DS power them on and then open your Pokemon game and remember this works on XY Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire enter your game and now this time we're going to be using the restore option on RAM to save on pokeedit.com so in your computer or your phone or wherever you have this loaded select the restore because it has a different QR code now just be standing in the Pokemon Center so you can see your trainer just like before and then press the home button press L and R again to open up the camera app go to the QR code option and now scan the restore QR code and then select OK if everything went according to plan you should see this page come up that says it's uploading to game your browser will crash and then you're going to receive an error and select OK. Now, your game is suspended, so without closing it or anything, just go directly back into your game. Okay, and now I made some edits to a couple things. So I made an edit to some Pokemon, remember, that I did in PK Hex? So let's see if that worked. Yep, there's that Kakuna that I cloned to slot one, and the Ivasaur is gone and let's see if my name changed correctly and yeah now my trainer name is cake instead of ash that it was previously after you have the file loaded back on your game if something looks strange or looks glitchy or weird you can always just turn off your 3ds from here and the edits will not be saved or changed if everything looks good and it's the way you want just save your game and then next time you play it'll be exactly the way you edited it all right, and that's how to back up and restore your files and open them in PK Hex and make all sorts of awesome fancy edits. Uh, we have some pre-made Pokemon packs with uh, legal Pokemon that if you want to use as your base when you're making Pokemon in PK Hex, and there will be some videos on Poketit's YouTube channel uh, on how to make sure to keep how to keep them legal and some various tricks for using PK Hex efficiently. If, you, if your firmware is too new and you can't run RAM to save, um, there are other methods for taking your file on and off of your cartridge, so those involve something called the homebrew method, and I have tutorials on how to set that up, so you still have a way to do it. And if you want to buy a unit with that's pre-set up with a 2DS, and it already has homebrew and Cubic Ninja, uh, we have those for sale on our website also. Uh, if you don't want to go, if you don't want to mess with your own, you just want one that's set up already. All right, thank you for watching, and I hope this helped. Ba -da -da -da. And I'm running, and I'm running, and I'm running, and that's how to use RAM to save, and it's easy. I think I don't think that's very hard. Salad, I like salad with chicken.